so logo here I will just take a logo of click from the images a URL will work image in new tab okay I have a data image here I will say an oh, online image will work for me Mm. okay i'll copy the data image i'm getting a data image again and again so i will just add the data image i will say image and I'll paste the code what I got for the click logo now it's there now it's time to format this logo so I will say height 100% and it's fixed so the style height is to be added and it will work just fine okay perfect so you can replace this with anything so i've just kept a click logo click view logo so so next up is i am going to uh, so we have a mashup and we have the code ready so i am going to copy this whole code go to my mashup in the HTML simply paste it now I will go to my backup HTML I will copy the whole head go over here instead of R head instead of R we are going to add the original heads so there is a small change that you have to do you have to cut this require.js as well as the data discovery and add it after the logo as well as the click uh, CSS so it's external then the internals so you do may not need jQuery as it is inbuilt and it is coming with the uh, uh, click so just copy your JS also cut it go to your js file go to the bottom of the page create some space and paste it okay so if you uh, keep it there it will be fine but uh, when we click on these pages we want the specific objects to be loaded at that particular point of time so as you can see the ui is there we can click on view and you seem a little it seems a little distorted it is because of this css so when you go here uh, it has a flex container please remove that as well as a uh, uh, height and width for the uh, qv placeholders remove that go to your html and copy your css what you have written your style cut it and add it into your CSS file save it and preview voila it's there so in this way you can integrate your HTML file into your mashup now I am going to choose my application created by Rohan and over here I am going to add my objects so this is one of my KPIs and I will add the KPI over here this is another KPI I am going to add it here perfect okay oh, sorry that's not a KPI my bad this is the KPI okay current year last year now I have to add the objects so uh, first I have in 
let's look into it which objects then my stakeholder distribution and then was mom trend then was the issued log so when i refresh i have the specific objects right in there when i click i have the page two page one okay now uh, i have to add the uh, navigation oh uh, sorry the uh, variable input so i have the variable input which is common for both the sheets so it's right there so refresh and it's there so when you click on that based on that the numbers will toggle around and in button 2 uh, we have to go to the second page and we have another okay so that's not visible because the state uh, isn't uh, selected so that is something when we go on the geo cut then we want to show this uh, particular uh, uh, you know division tag or this particular object so we are going to handle in that way and when i go to geo cut and now i will add my geo cut objects which is uh, First is my map. Second is my what is the object? Okay, state distribution and something. Second is the container object. then comes the scatter plot then comes the table so when i refreshed i have the distribution and all working fine then go to geo parts I have my distribution here oh, sorry then I have another object and another object but as you can see these objects isn't loading properly so